This is CNN Breaking News. We're following breaking news, including very disturbing new allegations against an airline mechanic accused of sabotaging a passenger plane that was forced to abort takeoff. Prosecutors now say the Iraqi-born man downloaded an ISIS video to his phone and told co-workers his brother was a member of the terror group. Also breaking this hour, President Trump alluding to possible war with Iran, which he blames for the devastating aerial attack on a major Saudi oil field. Tonight, the Secretary of State Mike Pompeo is in Saudi Arabia as the president announces new sanctions on Iran. We'll talk about that and more with Congressman Eric Swalwell of the Intelligence and Judiciary Committees. And our correspondents and analysts are also standing by. First, let's go to CNN's Brian Todd with the latest on the airline mechanic accused of sabotage. Brian, a judge has just denied him bond, saying he may, uh, quote, be very sympathetic to terrorists. The judge did say that, Wolf, just a short time ago. And the judge also called the suspect's alleged actions, quote, very disconcerting. Prosecutors say in one message that this suspect sent to another person, he wrote that, quote, Allah, we ask you to use all your might and power against non-Muslims. But as of tonight, this mechanic is not yet charged with terrorism-related offenses. Prosecutors dropped the bombshell in open court, telling a federal judge that the 60-year-old airline mechanic had an Aww. ISIS video on his phone and had forwarded it to someone else. Prosecutors say Abdul Majid Marouf Ahmed Alani also visited Iraq this year and sent $700 to someone living there. Alani, a mechanic for American Airlines, was arrested earlier this summer, accused of trying to sabotage a plane with 150 people on board. Authorities say they used surveillance video to identify Alani. The pilots were rolling down the runway in Miami when they suddenly aborted takeoff due to faulty readings. Experts say if it hadn't been caught, it could have brought the plane down. You have to know how fast the plane is going to do a successful takeoff. It's a very dangerous uh, malfunction. Today, prosecutors said they also found an article about the deadly Lion Air crash in Indonesia last year on Alani's phone. They say it referenced the same type of air data module system he is accused of sabotaging. The federal government said today that Alani had told co-workers his brother was a member of ISIS, and he went to Iraq to see his brother. Prosecutors say Alani's roommate told them he went to Iraq because his brother had been kidnapped. No terror-related charges have been filed. In court documents, prosecutors initially said he confessed to sabotage due to a pay dispute and wanted to get more overtime fixing the flaw he created. But tonight, analysts say investigators may now be looking into whether he was somehow radicalized. We've also seen these organizations be very creative and innovative, and we've seen more outsourcing. As they themselves cannot mount a 9-11 type operation, they essentially reach out to other people to kind of do things for them. Terrorist groups from Al-Qaeda to ISIS are known to be fixated on trying to bring down American planes. And the threat of a terrorist getting a job with an airline to pull off an inside job has always been a major security concern. For example, the deadly Metrojet crash in Egypt in 2015, claimed by ISIS, might have been perpetrated by a mechanic, according to Reuters. They see airport insiders as potentially very helpful recruits in launching these kind of attacks. There's some track record of this. But terrorism experts also say it's possible that Alani's interest in Iraq and ISIS could have no bearing on the alleged sabotage. Plenty of people uh, download ISIS videos for all sorts of reasons. Uh, this man was from Iraq. Perhaps he was interested uh, in what that group was doing to his country. Uh, the question of travel to Iraq. Well, plenty of Iraqis uh, in the United States go back to their home country. American Airlines says the mechanic has been fired. He has not entered a plea in connection to the late July incident, but he is expected to enter a plea later this week. The judge has denied him bail. Now, in court today, Wolf Alani's lawyer uh, did say that he never meant to hurt anyone, that he only wanted overtime pay. He said that Alani agreed to the search of his phone and now where, where that ISIS video was found. And the uh, defense attorney asked if Alani was a terror threat, why wasn't he on a no-fly list? These are all strong points made by the defense today in court. He should enter a plea later this week. Lots of questions need to be answered. Uh, good report, uh, Brian. Thank you very much for that. There's more breaking.